I Roxy. I rocks I. E Roxy. Is it silent? Roxy? I don't know if it's silent. Oh, they they said it on the live stream. Ah. Eruxy. Okay. Or lizard folk to those who are not in the you know who like to refer to them like that. Oh. Okay. Sure. Lizard folk. Lizard people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to Game Gorgon. My name is Krug. I'm extremely sore. And today <laughs> And today we're here to talk to you about Pathfinder 2nd Edition, some stuff that we observed from the live stream. They have been doing these live streams. All of the players are Paizo employees. Right, which means if you watch, you might get a leak that they're not supposed to leak. Just like knock on wood, it might happen. Yeah, I mean, literally the first session, Jason was like, Our job isn't just to spoil new game mechanics. You're gonna get plenty of that by watching us play. But what we're really here to do is to have a good time and tell a good story. Jason, you know what we're using it for. Yeah, you know why I'm watching. <laughs> Our plan is to watch throughout the live streams and kind of uh, accumulate that information when we feel that it's enough information to make a whole video on. Some weeks there might not be enough. Some weeks there's going to be a ton. So make sure to stick around uh, because we will be continuously yeah. covering Pathfinder. Like for example, they only had about 20 minutes of combat for this session. So we had a, a relatively small sample size of, of combat mechanics to choose from. Uh, next session, they're gonna start with combat because they didn't finish that combat encounter unless they do it off camera or whatever, but that would no, be No, 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 it was very set up. It was very much a cliffhanger. What if they still did just finish it <laughs> off camera? <laughs> that would be so funny. Each one of those is gonna be about an hour long. And then the uh, Paizo, uh, the pa Pathfinder live streams where they just talk about mechanics and talk about like the characters and stuff like that within the world. Yep. We're also going to be watching those. Those are about an hour as well. So we're basically taking two hours of content and making it like 30. <laughs> hours? 30 hours, yes. Of content. This is a um, homebrew campaign. And awesome. it's not going to be an adventure that they're releasing on release date. We learned a bunch about the characters that uh, that are there, and uh -huh. then we also learned a little bit about how the game works and or confirmed how things are going to work right. based off of what they've played. Right. The mm -hmm. most important thing that we learned, yeah. hands down, character sheets are vertical now. Yes. Yay! Yeah, so, because they were all using clipboards, and none of them were using their clipboards like this. <laughs> Unless they have really weird sideways hand, handwriting skills. It doesn't look finished, I'll be honest with you. They never once show a close up of yeah, it. Yeah. But, but you like, definitely, whoosh. yes, you'd see it. And it, it just from afar, it looks like really deep colors. Like mm. you could guess where certain things were going to be if you knew, oh, clearly they're going to have a will save. Yeah. Like, this is or like, this group of six numbers is probably ASI. Yeah. Oh, ASI, no, just ability scores. Ability scores. We also got to learn that the three action system is still going yeah, to be. Yeah, still using that. Which I really love that system, which I'm, I'm really happy about. It's very unique, I, I dig it really hard. We also learned, because the only monsters that they've fought in so far are zombies, we have learned that zombies are slow and only you can use two actions on their turn. Okay. If you're expecting really big, like pieces of like just juicy bits of information. This is definitely not the video for you. No, um, unless there's a legitimate leak. Yes, and if there is, it, I'm not 100% sure I would want to cover it other than the fact that saying that there is a leak because I don't know, like I, it's- Depends on what it is, right? Yeah. If it's just like, oh, this mechanic is changing to be this. Uh, yeah, it's like, cool, that's just news. But if it's <laughs> like lore stuff, I wouldn't want to ruin that for people. Yeah. Perception still being used for initiative. The crit fail and crit success systems still seem to work very similarly. So if you roll a natural 20, or if you roll uh, 10 above the DC that's required for the check you're trying to make, that's gonna be a critical success. And if you roll a natural one or 10 below, that's still gonna be a critical fail, which is good because that also was a really interesting system. Now we're gonna go into some of the information that we learned about the classes and the uh, backgrounds and ancestries. But before we do that, we're actually going, we wanted to let you know that we're- The first character we're gonna talk about is Karina. Karina is a dwarven champion. Now, if you weren't keeping up with the updates after the playtest was released, uh, a champion's basically a paladin. That's the, the new neutral name for paladin. And then starting from when they release the official you know, book, you're gonna be able to pick different alignments for paladin, which is gonna change the way your oath works. So that's cool because this is the first time I think anybody has seen a champion like out in the wild. They've chosen dwarf as their ancestry and specifically they have death warden. Not, not familiar sure. with that. I'm not 100% sure if that's like 
a feat that, that the dwarf is going to get or if that's just a specific type of dwarf. I mean, I feel like I'm going to say this after each one is, I want to, I want more. I yeah. want to know more about these characters. Yep. The next one is Quindle, which is played by Owen. The illustrious and ever magnificent Owen. And if you want to know more about Owen, uh, we have an interview with Owen. You should go watch that. And if you're a part of Paizo and you want us to brown nose you on our show, go ahead and hit us up for an interview. <laughs> Adam at qtimes.com. Yeah, we'll do it. Owen's going to be playing uh, a goblin. Owen's characteristics of goblin and the story behind his character was so awesome. Had such a just like interesting like lore aspect that like fit really well and just like was just really, really, in my opinion, thought out. That's what they do for a living. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, exactly. Again, don't know if this is a feat or an aspect of goblin, but it's the unbreakable. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. The background that uh, Owen chose was the field medic. Yep. Uh, and then he is going to be playing a sorcerer with angelic bloodline. Which all of this stuff is not new. Aside from we don't know what Unbreakable is. Don't know what Unbreakable is. I can't remember if field medic was a thing. I'm if, fairly certain uh, it, it is. It sounds familiar. Uh, and Krug that's editing this. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm gonna say this after each one is, I want to, I want more. I yeah. want to know more about these characters. Yep. Next we're talking about Zell, who is new. Uh, they are a... Eruxy? It's a lizard folk. That's something that's completely, first for me, out of left field. It's not actually in the core rulebook. And they even said that, that this is not coming out in the core rulebook. Yeah, but that's, it. it's probably coming out next. Right? Why would they tease a book that's like three books away? I mean, we we can only imagine that it's either going to be in... Unless they were homebrewing it, but I can't fathom them doing that on like the official Paizo thing. So they said that Jason had to come up with it. Oh. Which makes me think that it, because they're like, things may change, they may vary, so don't hold us yeah. to anything. Which means we know it's not in the uh, the bestiary and we know it's not in the core rule book. Why would you put the effort into making it and then be like, oh hey, the business that I made this for, I'm not gonna use it for that. I'm glad that they decided yeah. to put something that wasn't in it. I wish they would have put something that we hadn't experienced in that we we're going to get in the core rule book. I agreed. But besides that, uh, I, I'm cool with them like, yeah, and there may not have been something that fits that category. Zell's background is street urchin, which we've seen before, and they are a rogue thief. We haven't played with the new way that um, rogues kind of deviate and have like separate. Yeah, we haven't gotten to play, but we know. But that, we know that it's a thing. And we know that it's a thing. Yeah, exactly. we talked about it in a video that's linked, linked on Google. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna say this after each one is. I want to. I want more. I yeah. want to know more about these characters. Yep. Lastly, but far from leastly, is uh, Micah, uh, who is a gnome chameleon. We don't know what the chameleon is. Right. I assume it's someone that like changes based off of their environment. Sure. Yeah. Micah is an entertainer and a wizard universalist, which. Uh, I think is all stuff that we're familiar with. Yeah. I haven't seen a Universalist played before. Yeah, I like the idea that they came up for it as well because they were like, yeah, they went to school and learned all this stuff, but then they like didn't graduate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was kind of like the idea behind that character. That's hilarious. Like they know enough, but not enough to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm gonna say this after each one is, I want to, I want more. Yeah. I want to know more about these characters. Yep. Did you find any of this interesting? Did you know all of this somehow already? If you did know all of this already before this live stream happened, how? Tell us how in the comments <laughs> so that we can do the same thing you do. When you're done with that, like the video if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us grow and become like super awesome, great internet personalities. Maybe share the video if you want to like make your friends help us become great, awesome internet personalities. Talk to us on Twitter. You can talk to me on Twitter at KrugQT. I, you can also talk to me at IndigoQT. You can also talk to us on all of our social medias right here. Until next time, we've been Game Gorgon. Bye. That was the most awkward outro we've done in a hot minute. <laughs>